Okay guys, as promised, this is a uh, holster I've been waiting for for my SIG uh, pistol. It's from Wright Leatherworks and they're out of Fremont, Ohio. I've been waiting about three and a half months to get this thing. It's a custom um, holster, leather holster, specifically for the for my SIG. So I was gonna give you a real unboxing here. I <clears throat> bought it out my name so you don't come to my house and steal my cool holster, but there we go. So haven't seen it yet, super excited to get it. <clears throat> By the way, I've got my trusty cameraman, Baird, here. Say hi, Baird. Hi. Doing all the uh, the holding of this, and you'll have to excuse all the all the sweat on my hands because it's kind of warm in our garage. Probably wouldn't recommend using a, a knife to open this up because if that holster was at the top, I probably would have I could have sliced it. But here we go. Ooh, that looks nice. So pretty good protection here, although it's just a hunk of leather, so you don't need to do much. So nice little bag to keep it dry. And ooh, I like that. Let's get to that later. Let's figure out what they sent us. So they sent me a cool little business card here. Right leather works. If you want to kind of zoom in on that Baird, you can kind of see that's the company. Move my finger. They were very nice. They were it took them a while longer because they had to got down to a skeleton crew because of the COVID situation. But anyways, they were they were very responsive when I kept asking about it. Uh, they sent us a cool little sticker right there. It's kind of neat, quality sticker. Ooh, they sent us like a postcard kind of a thing. Okay, it talks about what to do, what not to do. Thank you for choosing Right Leatherworks. How to block your holster, kind of do's and don'ts. Kind of an instruction manual that comes with it that's kind of neat and then there is my uh, there is my receipt and this holster was 105 dollars delivered and i thought that was a pretty darn good uh i thought that was a pretty good pretty darn good rate and this is for my p938 so it's a nine millimeter that uh was one of my favorites so let's get to the gun itself all righty so here we go first glance what do you think, Barry? Do you like it? Yeah. So this is, again, handcrafted for the 938. They got their cool little logo sitting right there. Right Leatherworks, WLW. Um, nice little... Uh, keychain. Keychain there. It smells like leather. Certainly looks like leather. This is the choice of the color that I wanted it in. The stitching looks spot on. And I do a lot of my own leather work. I build Zane a holster. I'm currently building Baird a holster. So... I'm no matter, no mind um, as good as this, obviously, but they've, uh, this is pretty neat. Very solid right here. The whole thing is pretty stiff. It's pretty rigid. They've got some markings over here, and it looks like this is where the safety is. This is where the release pin is. That's pretty cool. Um, boy, it's good. I like it. And again, this is not the kind that you just clip on to your, that you clip on to your, um, Belt. Your belt, yep. Thank you. This is the kind that you put through a holster, or uh, through a through a belt loop, and then you can carry it underneath a uh, underneath your your deal. All right, so let's get the gun and see it. So Baird, keep it rolling right there, and here is the gun itself. This is my P nine thirty eight. It's a Sig. I want to show you. It is unloaded. Nothing in the magazine. Nothing in there at all. So I am going to put the magazine back in just so you, um, just to keep that out of there so we can see how it fits. And let's do the actual fit itself. Ooh, that just slides right in. That feels good. That feels real good. Slides right in and it just kind of locks. It doesn't, there's not a lock, but it just kind of locks in place. That is handsome. That is a sharp looking piece. Love the color. And I can even smell the leather. Fits nice. I have to excuse all the scratches all over my hands. My wife and I have been doing some heavy yard work. And you have too, Baird. Thank you for that. I know. So there you go. I, I love it. I think it's great. I can't wait to put it on and run around town and show my friends under my, under my coat. Very pleased. Very, very pleased. 
I'll do a, a follow-up to this after I've worn it a few times. But um, at the moment, I love the stitching. It's a nice thick mill. They've definitely brazed the ends really well. Nice glue in there because you're supposed to glue between the between the areas in there. That looks really nice. So pretty darn impressive. And look at this too. These are even where the so like I said before, this goes in like so. They've even done a print because when you pull it out, here is the safety, right? Here's the release pin. And so look at that. There's the impression of the safety right there. So they've obviously got a pretty good mold. That's pretty neat. So again, we'll lay it down like that. Baird, you can get a shoot it wide a little bit. Nope, point it down. There you go. Got to show see that. There it is. It's pretty great. And then here it is with here it is with the gun in place. Take this cool little keychain off. Bear, do you want this keychain? Yeah. Okay, it's yours. I'll do that for your for your time on the behind the camera. Of course, I'll have to pay you with this keychain after I get it off and after I see how your cropping was. All right, we'll get it off later. Anyways, there it is. Super impressed. Right leather works one more time. Here's their uh, here's their card. At the moment, highly recommend them. Very responsive. They were very uh, apologetic when it came to the amount of time that I certainly understood. But um, did a lot of research online. Wanted to get a really nice custom one, and I think for 100 and 110 bucks, 105 bucks delivered. That was a uh, that's pretty good. So there you go. Hope this video. I hope you find it useful. Thanks very much.